ओम ज्ञान तिमृंदस्य ज्ञान जनशलाकय चक्षुरन्मन्तमेन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोगस्तम स्थापितम् एन भूतले स्वरूपं कदामि अन्ददाति स्वपदांतिकं वन्दे हम श्री गुरु श्री रुद्रपतकं हम श्री गुरु वैष्णवं च श्री रूपं सागरदातं सागरदगुणात तंतं सजीवं साधवेतं सावदूतं परिजन सहितं कृष्ण चैतन्य देवं श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सहगण्य लता श्री विशाखापतं च नमः विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी के नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष सुनने वादी पास देशतारिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा चंद्र दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपे कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कंचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुत देवी प्रणमामि श्रीप्रिये पंचाकल्पतरूपे सचा कृपा सिंधु वे वचा पतितनम पावन निब्बे वैष्णव निर्गुण मनोम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जगत गुरु श्री प्रपा की जय Yes, His Grace, the Shabda Fuji. Let me start. Swati Mataji. Chief Prabhu Guru Ji, may I read it? Yes, yes, yes. Subsequently, Arjuna arrested Ashwatthama and was going to kill him. In fact, Krishna ordered, kill him. He is not a Brahmana. He is less than a Shudra. But then Draupadi said, I am suffering because of the death of my sons. And this rascal is the son of our Guru Maharaj, Dhanonacharya. Who... Prabhuji, you didn't study it already? You didn't study it. Yes, you didn't study it. But then... Yeah, one second. Uh, yes. But then Draupadi... Yes, that's what I'm saying. You have studied it? No, I'm doing the same thing. I didn't study it. Oh, oh, oh. मुझे गलत याद होगा फिर ऐसा लगा पता नहीं पढ़ के कि पढ़ाई कॉन्टेक्स कॉन्टेक्स चल रहा है ना इसलिए लग रहा है बट दें द्रौपदी सेड आया हाँ ये हो सकता है हाँ मेंबे बट दें द्रौपदी सेड आई एम सफरिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द डेथ ऑफ़ माय सन्स एंड दिस रास्कल इज़ द सन ऑफ़ आर गुरु महाराज द्रोणाचार्य हु हैज़ डन सो मच फॉर अस इफ़ अश्वत्थामा डाइज़ दें द्रोणाचार्यस वाइफ़ आर गुरु आर मदर गुरु विल बी वेरी मच अनहैप्पी सो रिलीज़ हिम एंड लेट हिम गो अवे दस अर्जुना � Retaliated by unleashing a Brahmastra. The Brahmastra is something like a nuclear. पढ़ा है प्रभु जी ये मैंने ही पढ़ाया और in fact. अच्छा. चलो कोई बात नहीं देखते हैं आगे. The Brahmastra is something like a nuclear weapon. It can go to the enemy wherever he is and kill him. Ashwatthama knew the last descendant of Kuru family is Parikshit. The son. Scroll किया है क्या आपने? मतलब क्या तो था मैं चेक करने के लिए वापस आ गया कोई नहीं पढ़ लेते हैं पूजी अच्छा अच्छा नहीं मुझे गलत याद होगा कोई बात नहीं the last descendant of Guru family is Parikshit the son of Abhimanyu he is in the womb of Uttara so let me kill him also and then the entire dynasty will be finished yes his grace दस दस अवतार हैं हाँ पूजी मुझे भी लग रहा है पढ़ लिया है शायद अच्छा सॉरी सॉरी मैं पहले बोल रहा था कि नहीं पढ़ा है अच्छा ये बोल बट एक कलम इट हाँ ये एट एट वर एट वर्ड समय पहले तो पढ़ा था मैंने ओह यस पूजी माता जी इज राइट सॉरी मुझे भी लग रहा है और हम काफी काफी पढ़ चुके हैं इसके आगे हाँ इसके बाद तो मार्क कर देना ब्रेड जो आप मार्क कर देना तो शायद ये देखिए ना ये यहाँ तक भी आ रहा है ओ तो ये ये यहाँ से रह रहा है ये 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 वाला रह रहा है यस यस हम्म 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 आते यहाँ से स्टार्ट कर देते हैं ठीक है
मुझे पढ़ना है हाँ जी आप पढ़ लीजिए Therefore, Kunti Devi says, "Strong attention of all children, indicating that there is free from intoxication caused by high birth appliances, education, and beauty is a good policy." Nonetheless, when one becomes Krishna conscious, these same material assets can be used for the service of Krishna. For example, the Americans who have joined the Krishna consciousness movement were materially intoxicated before they become devotees, but now. That their intoxication is over, their material assets have become spiritual assets. That may be helpful in furthering the service of Krishna. For example, when these American devotees go to India, the Indian people are surprised to see that Americans have become so mad after God. Many Indians strive to imitate the material materialistic life of the West, but when they see American dancing in Krishna consciousness, then they realize that this is what is actually worthy of being followed. Yes, Mata Ji. everything can be used in the service of krishna if one remains intoxicated and doesn't use one's material assets for the service of krishna they are not very valuable but if one can use them for the service of krishna they become extremely valuable to give an example zero has no value but as soon as the digit one is placed before the zero the zero immediately becomes 10 if there are two zeros they become 100 and three zeros becomes 1000 similarly we are intoxicated by material assets that are actually no better than zero but as soon as we add krishna these tens and hundreds and thousands and millions of zeros becomes extremely valuable the krishna consciousness movement therefore offers a great opportunity to the people of the west they have an over abundance of zeros of materialistic life and if they simply add krishna their life will become sublimely valuable so moving to the next chapter then the property of the impoverished yes prabhuji please prabhuji namo kinchana vitaya nirvatta guna vartaye atma maya shana santaya My obeisances are unto you, who are the property of the material impoverished. You have nothing to do with the actions and reactions of the material modes of nature. You are the, you are self-satisfied, and therefore you are most gentle and are master of the monist. In Bhagavad Gita, one point, first chapter, which chapter is that? Yes, sir. Okay. A living being is finished as soon as there is nothing to possess. Therefore, a living being cannot be in the real sense of the term a renouncer. A living being renounces something for gaining something more valuable. A student sacrifices childish proclivities to gain better education. A servant gives up his better job. Similarly, a devotee renounces the material world not for nothing but for something tangible and spiritual value. The Lord, Sri Lord Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Sri Lord Raghunath Das Goswami, and other gave up their worldly pomp and prosperity for the sake of the service of the Lord. They were weak men in the worldly senses. Then, the Goswamis were minister in the government service of Bengal, and Sri Lord Raghunath Das Goswami was the son of big zamindar of his time. But they left everything to gain something superior to what they previously possessed. The devotees are generally without material prosperity, but they have a very secret treasure house in the lotus feet of the Lord. There is a nice story about Sri Lanka Goswami. He had a stone with him, and this stone was left in a pile of refuse. A needy man took it, but later on wondered why the valuable stone was kept in such a neglected place. He therefore asked Sanatan an Goswami for the most valuable thing, and then he was given the holy name of the Lord. A kinchana means one who has nothing to give materially. A factual devotee or mahatma does not give up anything materially to anyone because he has already left all the material assets. He can, however, deliver the supreme asset, namely. The personality of God, and because He is the only property of the perfectly devotee, the touchstone of Sanatan Goswami, which was thrown in the rubbish, was not the property of the Goswami. Otherwise, it would not have been kept in such a place. This specific example is given for the neophyte devotee just to convince them that material hankering and spiritual advancement go ill together. Unless one one is able to see everything as spiritual. 
in relation with the supreme lord one must always distinguish distinguish between spirit and matter a spiritual master like sri lakshmanan goswami although personally able to see everything as spiritual said this example for us only because we have no such spiritual vision advancement sorry vision thank you advancement of mental vision or mental civilization is a great stumbling block for spiritual advancement such mental advancement entangles a living being in the bondage of material body followed by all sorts of mental misery such mental advancement is called anartha or thing is not wanted actually this is so in the present context of mental advancement when you just lift stick at a cost of 50 cents and there are so many wanted things which which are all products of material conception of life by diverting attention to so many unwanted things human energy is spoiled without achievement of spiritual realization the prime necessity of human life the attempt to reach the moon is another example of spoilage energy because even if the moon is reached the problem of life will not be solved the devotees of the lord are also called akinchanas because they have partially practically no material assets such material assets are all products of the three modes of material nature they foil spiritual energy and thus the less we possess such products of material nature the more we have a good chance for spiritual progress hari krishna the supreme personality of god had has no direct connection with material activities all his acts and deeds which are exhibited even in this material world are spiritual and without affection for the modes of material nature in the bhagavad gita the lord says that all his acts even his appearance and disappearance in and out of the material world are transcendental and one who knows this perfectly shall not take his birth again in this material world but will go back to the material disease due to hankering after the lording after and lording it over material nature this hankering is due to an interaction of the three modes of nature and neither the lord nor the devotees have attachment for such false enjoyment therefore the lord and the devotees are called nivritta guna vritti the perfect nivritta guna vritti is the supreme lord because he never becomes attracted by the modes of material nature whereas a living being have such a tendency some of them are entrapped by the illusionary attraction no because the lord is the property of the devotees and the devotees are the property of the lord reciprocally the devotees are certainly transcendental to the modes of material nature that is natural conclusion such an alloy devotees are distinct from the mixed devotees who approach the lord for mitigation of business and poverty or because of inquisitiveness and speculation the alloy devotees and the lord are transcendently attached to one another for others the lord has nothing to reciprocate that and therefore he is called atmaram self satisfied self satisfied as he is he is the master of all monists who seek to merge into existence of the lord such monists merge with the personal effulgence of the lord called the brahma jyoti but the devotees enter into the transcendental past times of the lord which are never to be misunderstood as material to be materially impoverished is the first qualification of a devotee one who does not possess anything in this material world but simply possesses krishna is called a kinchana the word a kinchana means one who has lost all material possessions as long as we have even the slightest tinge of an idea of becoming happy materially in some way or other we shall have to accept a material body nature is so kind that according to the way we want to enjoy this material world she will give us a suitable body under the direction of the lord because the lord is situated in everyone's heart he knows everything therefore knowing that we still want something material he will give us another material body yes take it krishna wants us to have full experience through which to understand that by material gain we shall never be happy this is krishna's desire because we are part and parcel of krishna who has full freedom we too have full freedom although the quantity of that freedom is quite minute although the quantity of salt in a drop of in a drop of sea water is not comparable comparable to the quantity of salt in the ocean the chemical composition of both the drop and the ocean is the, is the same similarly whatever we have in a minute quantity is present in its fullness in krishna janmadhi ashayata for example we have a propensity to steal 
to take things that belong to others why because krishna is the same propensity unless the propensity to steal is present in us well truth how can it be present in us krishna is known as a butter thief but krishna is stealing but krishna is stealing and our is stealing a different because we are materially contaminated our stealing is abominable whereas on the spiritual affiliate platform the same stealing is so nice that is enjoyable madhur yashoda therefore enjoy enjoys krishna krishna's activities of stealing this is the difference between materially material and spiritual any activities that are spiritual are all good and any activities that are material are all bad it is this is the difference between spiritual and material the so called morality and goodness of this material world is all bad but in the spiritual world even so called immorality is good this we must this we must understand for example to dance with the wives of others at the dead of night is immoral at least according to vedic civilization even today in india a young woman will never be allowed to go to the young man at the dead of night to dance with him but we shall find in shrimad bhagavatam that as soon as all the gopis the young coward girls of vrindavan heard krishna's loot they immediately came to dance with him now according to the metal conception this is immoral but from the spiritual point of view this is in accord with the greatest morality chetana mahaprabhu therefore said ramaya kachid upasana vraj vadhui var varge na yakal pita oh there is no better mode of worship than that which was conceived by the vraj vadhus the damsels of vrindavan after chetana mahaprabhu accepted the renounce order of life he was he very strictly avoided association with women even his family life he never played any jokes with women he was very humorous but only with men not with women once he spoke some joking word with his wife vishnu priya when sachi mata lord chaitanya's mother was searching for something he jokingly said maybe your daughter in law has taken it but in his whole life these are not only the joking words we find in relation to women he was very strict after he accepted sanyas the renounce order now women could even come near him to offer obeisances rather they would offer obeisances from a distant place nanadless chetana marbhu said ramya kachid upasana vraj vadhu varge na yakal pita there is no conception of worship better than that which has conceived by the damsels of vrindavan what was their conception they wanted to love krishna at any risk and this is never immoral hari krishna that which is in relationship to krishna can never be immoral to give another example lord krishna in his incarnation as narsimha dev killed hiranyakashipu the father of prahlad maharaj while prahlad maharaj stood nearby without protesting now is this moral who would like to see his own father being killed killed who would just stand there and not protest no one would approve of such behavior and say that it is moral unless this actually happened not only that but prahlad maharaj even made a garland to place upon the neck of the killer my dear lord killer mm-hmm. he said please take this garland you have killed my father mm-hmm. and you are very good this must be understood spiritually if one's father is being attacked and one cannot protect him one must protest and cry for help but because prahlad maharaj father was killed by krishna in the form of lord narsimha dev prahlad maharaj prepared a garland for the killer after his father was killed prahlad said to narsimha dev my dear lord now that my father has been killed everyone is happy now please withdraw your angry mood a sadhu a saintly person never approves of killing not even not even the killing of an enemy But Pallad Maharaj said, "Mudita Sadhu Rapi Vrish Vrishik Vrishika Sarpahatya." Even a saintly person is pleased when a scorpion or a snake is killed. A scorpion or a snake is also a living entity, and a sadhu is never satisfied when he sees another living entity killed. But Pallad Maharaj said, "Even a sadhu is pleased when a snake or a scorpion is killed." my father was just like a snake or a scorpion and therefore now that he has been killed everyone is happy ranakashipu was a very dangerous demon who gave trouble to devotees and when such a demon is killed even saintly persons are satisfied although ordinary ordinarily uh, ordinarily 
they never want anyone killed therefore although it may appear that lord krishna or palad maharaj acted immorally in fact they acted in accord with the highest morality krishna is akanchana with the the only soul is for one who has lost everything in material in the chaitanya charitamrit lord krishna says if someone wants me but at the same time wants material propensity he is a fool krishna is so kind that if one wants material propensity but at the same time wants to become a devotee krishna makes him a failure in material life therefore people are very much afraid of coming to krishna consciousness oh they think my pro- material propensity will be finished very good generally people go to a church or temple to pray to god for material prosperity oh god give us our daily bread but although they are approaching god for material prosperity give me this give me that they are also considered pious because they approach god unlike the atheist who never approach him why shall i approach god the atheist says i shall create my own wealth and by advancement of science i shall be happy one who thinks for my own prosperity i shall depend on my own strength and my own knowledge is a duskriti a most sinful person but one who thinks my prosperity depends on the mercy of god is pious you know it is a fact that without the sanction of god nothing can be achieved tat to tanu ridham tanu pekshita na we have discovered many methods by which to counteract distress but when freedom from such distress is not sanctioned by god these methods will fail for example a sick man may have a very good medicine and a qualified physician but if we ask a physician can you background mein to sound aa raha hai ek second ab aa raha hai ab theek hai ha yes please sanction by god this method will will fail for example a sick man may have very good medicine and a qualified physician but if we ask the physician can you guarantee the life of this patient the doctor will always say no i cannot do so i try my best at all an intelligent doctor knows the ultimate sanction is in is in the hands of god, is in the hand of god i am simply an instrument if god does not want the patient to live then all my medicines and all my scientific medic knowledge will fail the ultimate sanction therefore is krishna those who are foolish do not know this and therefore they are called mudharas and they do not know that although whatever they are doing may be very good if it is not ultimately sanctioned by god by krishna it will all be a failure on the other hand a devotee knows with whatever intelligence i have i may try to become happy but without krishna sanction i shall never be happy there is a distinction between a devotee and a non devotee as mentioned before krishna says one who tries to approach me to become krishna conscious but at the same time wants to become materially happy is not very intelligent he is wasting his time our main business is to become krishna conscious that is the main business of human life if we waste our time striving for material improvement and forget to chant hari krishna that will be a great loss therefore krishna says ami vijna ai murkhe vishya kena diba महाराज Mr Maharaj inquired from Krishna we are completely dependent on you but still we are suffering materially so much our kingdom has been taken away our wife has been insulted and our enemies attempt to burn us in our house how can this be so Krishna replied yes yes ham anugraha nami hari se tad dhanam sane Yes, that is my first business. If I especially favor someone, then I take all his source of income and place him into great difficulty. In this way, Krishna is very dangerous. <laughs> you, yes, I have. It's seven twenty-six. Should we stop now? Discussion.
स्वाति माता जी जी प्रभु जी तो जैसे अभी लास्ट इसमें चल रहा था कि मतलब हमारे जैसे डिवोटी बन जाते तो हमें ये नहीं सोचना चाहिए कि हमारी लाइफ में डिस्ट्रेस नहीं आएंगे और मतलब प्रॉब्लम्स नहीं आएंगी कल भी आई थिंक पॉइंट आया था कि प्रोपा जी बता रहे थे कि जैसे फैलाद महाराज थे उनको भी वो भी भक्त थे बट उनकी लाइफ में कितनी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स आई पांडवास थे तो उनकी लाइफ में भी कितनी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स आई एक्चुअली बट कृष्णा उनके साथ थे फिर भी प्रॉब्लम्स आई तो हमें मतलब ऐसे नहीं सोचना चाहिए कि अगर हम भक्त बन गए तो हमारी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स खत्म हो जानी चाहिए तो यस आई लाइक दैट पॉइंट एंड इसमें एक चीज एक चीज और ये भी है कि Uh, हम uh, उस सिचुएशन में भी कृष्णा कॉन्शियस रह सकते हैं बस हमें uh, उन प्रॉब्लम्स को uh, देखने का नजरिया बदलना होगा जैसे कि uh, uh, एक मैंने एक uh, कहीं तो सुन, किसी लेक्चर में सुना था कि uh, uh, उसमें बता रहे थे कि, कि हम कैसे डिस्ट्रेस एंड हैप्पीनेस में कृष्णा कॉन्शियस में रह सकते हैं अगर हम सोचें तब हमें दुख आता है तो हम अगर सोचें कि हमारे बुरे कर्मों की वजह से आता है और 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 इस तरह से भी सोच सकते हैं कि कृष्णा हमारे माया देवी हमारा टेस्ट ले रही है फिर कृष्णा हमारा टेस्ट ले रहे हैं तो हम कृष्णा कॉन्शियस रह सकते हैं और हैप्पीनेस में हम सोच समझ सकते हैं कि आ, ये मतलब ये हमें भगवान की मर्जी है जो हमें मिल रही है तो दोनों ही सिचुएशन में अगर हम भगवान को इस तरह से अगर याद करें तो हम कृष्ण कॉन्शियस रह सकते हैं मतलब परफेक्टली कृष्ण कॉन्शियस सिचुएशन मतलब कृष्ण कॉन्शियस स्टेट में रह हम लोग ने अभी शुरुआत में जैसे पढ़ रहे थे कि कैसे जो भी गोस्वामी थे सनातन गोस्वामी रूप गोस्वामी एंड रघुराज दास गोस्वामी को तो हमने अभी जस्ट रिसेंटली देखा दही चीड़ा फेस्टिवल आई थिंक आप लोगों ने सुना होगा दही चीड़ा फेस्टिवल की स्टोरी ऐसे वो सबको छोड़ करके नित्यानंद प्रभु के पास आते हैं और फिर उन नित्यानंद प्रभु को कहते हैं कि आप तो चोर हैं आप सिर्फ चैतन महाप्रभु जी की कृपा पाना चाहते हैं तो इस तरह से फिर नित्यानंद प्रभु उनको परिसमेंट देते हैं कि आप सबके लिए दही मतलब सबके लिए दही चीड़ा का व्यवस्था कीजिए और मतलब सबको दही चीड़ा खिलाइए तो इतना बढ़िया अरेंजमेंट करते हैं तो उस तरह से अभी हम देख सकते हैं कि कैसे कृष्ण भक्त मेटेरियली मेटेरियली अपनी चीजें त्याग देता है मतलब जो भी मेटेरियली उन पर ज्यादा उनकी ज्यादा परवाह नहीं करता वो उन, उसको उससे ज्यादा मतलब उन सबकी ज्यादा परवाह नहीं रहती कि वो रहे उसके पास हो या ना हो बट 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 अगर उसका भी वो यूज कर सकता है भक्तों की सेवा में भगवान की सेवा में जैसे भगवान को जिस तरह से खुश कर सकते जैसे भगवान की सेवा में देवोटी को प्रसाद हम खिला सकते हैं भगवान के डेकोरेशन में लगा सकते हैं तो अलग अलग तरीके हैं बट ये कि वो खुद के लिए कुछ नहीं करता उसके लिए तो सब भी भक्त रहते हैं तो यस अभी तो हम उस लेवल पे है नहीं तो बट हाँ हम देख सकते हैं कि कैसे हमें ऐसी चीजों से डील करना चाहिए ऐसे तो प्रभु जी ने कवर कर ही लिया बट एक पॉइंट और जो मुझे अच्छा लगा था जिसमें प्रभुपात बता रहे थे कि एग्जाम्पल दिया था प्रभुपात ने कि जैसे जीरो की कोई वैल्यू नहीं होती बट हम उसके आगे वन लगा देते हैं तो टेन बन जाता है या टू जीरो के साथ हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऐसे बनता है ऐसे ही जो जो भी हमारे मटीरियल अगर पोजेशन है भी जो भी है हमारे एसेट्स दे आर यूजलेस जब तक हम उसमें कृष्णा नहीं ऐड कर देते या उन्हें कृष्णा की सर्विस में नहीं लगा देते तो दे आर जस्ट यूजलेस दे आर जीरो तो इसीलिए मतलब मुझे वो अच्छा लगा एग्जाम्पल जो भी दिया प्रभुपात ने और विच इज एक्चुअली जो प्रभुपात बट वही है हम कितना कर पाते हैं हम उस लेवल पर नहीं है अभी बट वो चीज हमें ध्यान में रखते हुए शायद आगे करना चाहिए तो वो बता रहे हैं इसमें फिर प्रभुपात व्हाट इज आई मीन 
uh, this Krishna consciousness is very important for us. Second thing, uh, जो प्रभुपाद ने वो गोपीज का एग्जाम्पल लिया था कि uh, अगर हम मेटीरियली सोचे कि जो भी हम चीजें कर रहे हैं मतलब मेटीरियली तो ये भगवान गोपियां जाती थी या जो भी वो उस टाइम पे वो रासलीला होती थी नाइट में जाती थी दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल मेटीरियली बट स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म पे जो भगवान कर रहे हैं क्योंकि दैट इज नॉट अंडर दोड्स ऑफ नेचर जो हम कर रहे हैं मेटीरियली उसमें तो वो मोड्स ऑफ नेचर आते हैं एंड एवरी थिंग दैट मेटीरियली इज ऑल इम मोरल बट भगवान जो कर रहे हैं या उनके लव के लिए जो गोपी गोपियों ने किया वो दैट इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल तो वो तो खैर इनकम इनकम्पेरेबल है और उसी में ही फिर एग्जाम्पल लिया था वो चोरी वाला की दैट इज स्टीलिंग प्रहलाद महाराज जो चोरी वाला भी जो लिया था कि वो स्टीलिंग वाली प्रोपेंसिटी भी क्योंकि भगवान के अंदर है इसलिए हमारे अंदर भी है बट हमारा जो है वो इमोरल है भगवान जो कर रहे हैं उसे उसे यशोदा मैया भी इतना हैप्पी हो जाती थी तो दैट इज ऑल ट्रांसेंडेंटल तो ये अच्छा लगा मुझे थैंक यू मेरे को एक वो पॉइंट था मतलब इसमें प्रभात कहते हैं कि मेटल एडवांसमेंट जो होता है या फिर मेटल विजन जो होता है वो ब्लॉकर होता है तो इट मींस कि मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि वो गलत है मेटल एडवांसमेंट या फिर मेटल विजन रखना बट इट शुड इट शुड बी हार्मोनाइज वे विद कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस कि मतलब हम मेटल एडवांसमेंट करें बट वो इसलिए ही करें क्योंकि फॉर द सेक ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस कि हम कैसे इस मूवमेंट को हेल्प कर सकते हैं या फिर कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस कैसे स्प्रेड कर सकते हैं तो वो मेरे को लगा कि कभी कभी हम मतलब ऐसा सोचने लग जाते हैं कि मेटल विजन जो है मेटल एडवांसमेंट जो है वो ब्लॉकर है वो छोड़ देनी चाहिए हमें त्याग देना चाहिए तो मतलब ऐसा नहीं है तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि वो भी इम्पोर्टेंट है बट वो वो मतलब ऐसा होना चाहिए कि ऊपर से अगर आदमी कर रहा है लेकिन अंदर से अलूफ ही होना चाहिए डिटैच होना चाहिए वो फोकस होना चाहिए कि कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस पे तो वो इट इट रिक्वायर्स लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस बट यस आई थिंक दैट इज द ओनली वे फॉर ग्रस्ट स्पेशली वो बात तो वो बात तो बहुत प्रैक्टिकल थे मतलब वो कभी नहीं कह रहे थे कि हमें मैं रियली मतलब मेंटली चीजों के लिए नहीं ट्राई करना चाहिए मतलब इवन बोलते थे कि आप जॉब करो बट मंदिर चलाओ मंदिर में मतलब मंदिर में डोनेट करो जॉब करके तो यस वो बात तो काफी प्रैक्टिकल थी अगर सब आते हैं कुछ मतलब बोल रहे हैं बात करे तो वो भी अच्छा है वो भी जरूरी है Yes. Uh, so, can we stop now? Yes. Anything anyone wants to add? At last. Okay. One chakal patru be has chakri pasin tuve vach pajita naam pawan ne bevashan ne bana mama. Kya kuch gushil be baad ki chhe. Dash shabda hai prabhu. Aap kuch kena chahte? No. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.